Hello boys, my name is Kuliyoshi. Welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The switch with the Japanese voice is enabled. Yeah, you can see I'm feeling a lot better now than I was before. In the last video we left off, well... What else? Doing some origin gameplay and trying to get all the stuff done and... To try and keep myself from getting too mad and also... Also, the stuff are getting too boring. I am going to go back and do some unique monster stuff. In the last video, we explored more of Origin, trying to get down to the end spot, but we, um, had some, uh, let's just say problems arise, and we couldn't actually finish that, so we're gonna try it again. Hopefully this time we can make it work. We're gonna use the mana bill, uh, Doodle noodles. Weesh, I cannot talk correctly. Two times here. As these actually give a bit more efficient boost that we want for this point. XP and CP. So I never actually got to really explore much of the area down here. So we're gonna explore more of this. And that's because there was one unique that was missed that we never actually took out. There was another extra unique as well back in the outside area, but... Um, I previously stopped the... ...video there and couldn't actually take it out. And for a good reason, too! Yep. It ended up taking longer. Honestly, if I had just probably chosen to do the extra stuff later, I could have done more stuff, but I guess it'll bounce out probably in a minute, because it'll probably end up skipping a bunch of stuff. I honestly forget what the unique even is, because, um, we went through a couple of other areas, but there's a unique big guy around this area. Okay, yeah, here he is. We're gonna do him first. We're gonna play this mostly safe as well, so we're going to kill this Impedia first. And yes, your auto attacks do go a little bit faster if you're able to move after the attack connects. Although it's a bit more trickier in this game. Zeo by 2 is much easier to do consistently. We definitely want to remove these Impedias from the big area. If we get more than one at a time, it's probably going to be really awkward, so we're going to do that. That also got Ethel up to level 81. Our ranks will almost be level 20 by the end of this, which is a good thing I picked it like this, so we got some extra rank 20s. Oh, can't go through the enemy there, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going too early there. That was a uh, insta days. Like I said, I set up Yumi's cobble to be very special so that if she had the ability to day, she would also instantly uh Typically, uh, first the enemy immediately, so we don't have to wait for first. So this is kind of a decently balanced comp. It has some days and it has some... I don't think I've heard that voice whine in a while. Alright, time to uh, take out this unique. Let's 
start with the break right off the bat so we can start a combo. I went way too early there. I still got a decent check, but I will get the Argent Blade. Uh, We have a fix for that, though. Yellow we'll star off. Oh! What the heck, that already had a burst on it. Wait, there was already a burst going at the end of this chain? Now I'm really confused what happened there. Uh, uh let's uh, just stick with the usual setup here, but I was uni, since we can't really get a towel otherwise. It was you. Probably should have used cover art for break, but whatever, it's probably not going to work anyway. We're going to have to change this around slightly, and Noah's going to have to be the one who finishes off the thing, or starts off the battle rather. So we'll actually do the same these trick setup, but we're gonna do it in reverse. And actually maybe finish with Mio. It's a bit more risky, but we kinda needed it to get the top off. We'll have to do this slightly differently, which means we'll have to run the risk that we might not get the that's uh uni, I mean meal that. I cannot say characters correctly today. Jeez. Honestly though, it's probably fine. And yeah, we got Noah instead. We can't use Noah now, which that would cause the chain to do something else. Uh, didn't got the hero less well. This is the best hero list setup, but not getting a hero does significantly reduce your king's power. Oh, I don't think I can actually use uh, Tyon anymore either. He, he might get activated instead of them. No, wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> He's not going to get anywhere near 77 TP, which is the amount of CP. Be Mio as right now. Also, guess it doesn't really matter who we use since we're ending the chain. Initially, I set up this as if I was going to keep going, but we got unlucky, so we're gonna go for this instead. Take the Bravo and get a damage increase slightly. 
it's kind of sad. You do significantly less damage, so a lot if you don't have the hero up. So a lot of it is heavily reliant on getting the hero or not. Okay, for this one, I could just use both of my tanks. We're super low on TP, so neither of them will trigger, so we can easily use them and not fill up the bar to 90%, and then use this, which will automatically stay at 90%, and then use Neo Smash to finish it off. I will say I am definitely improved since like the start of the game um, in terms of chain attacking. I'm able to be much more consistent. A lot of it is kind of relying on this one class here though, the Soul Hacker to do its thing. Because it does probably more damage with the Smash Trick than any other class in the game right now. We're gonna get kind of an overkill similar to what we got before we got the smash damage itself will kill the enemy, and then the overkill itself finishes it off. For some of these weaker bosses early on, we might not need a big overkill, but if it's a foul phase of a foul boss, we may as well overkill them as much as possible. I think those still give experience points like before, because if anything's changed or anything's the same, is you'll be able to farm the end game boss for some coins. Normally, that kind of thing is normally not possible. Usually, the final bosses don't reward you with anything that you can take in. Just all they award you with is the success that you managed to defeat the big battle. That's it. You don't get anything else or any extra stuff. So, I already killed the guy over here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kill him. Let's go this. The only problem with uh, going for the lucky 7 strat is it does take a little while to draw in every battle. And you only have it for a certain amount of long, but of course we make the most of it for trying to trigger a train attack with an active. By the way, normally Noah's not my breaker, I just thought it works better for this son. Usually it's better to have somebody else as your breaker. That way, you can um, have a break option to easily get that done, and then Noah just uses something else. But I didn't have any other keys to care for it, so. Things you base DPS rest, but can use that. Alright. We probably could have easily skipped that, huh? There's not really a good way to know of where the unique is. Probably best to just continue down the spot in reverse. <laughs> oh, yep, there he is. Back in his usual spot. It's like a bolt enemy almost. Not mean to use that ability, by the way. By the way, I think uh, auto attack canceling is still working. It's just supposedly limited. It can be done pretty fast, though, with some classes. This might not be the best class for canceling that, though. So. That was a miss on the break there. Alright, here we go. Gotta take out this unique who is also in lucky state. So it'll give you even more drops. By the way, you can trick the enemy who should be always being in a lucky state. You just reset over and over again. So it's better late in the game once you have all the boosts up. Well, that just shows you how strong your endgame enemies are becoming. 
the thing like that in one shot Epo, then that just shows they're not messy around. Yes, Epo is only a DPS class and a best speaker than most, but he is at least powerful in damage. A one shot. She is ascended, so she has slightly better stats than she would otherwise, but I guess it wasn't enough. Yeah, see, Fledging Plane is a talent from the uh, Hulk, so it actually is basically a uh, Dark Hulk. You know what? Every single version that I find from now on, I'm just going to call it the Dark version of this guy. So this guy's new next name is Dark Hulk. Because, like, get it, he's a darker version of something else. That was probably a daze. Yep, this time the daze did stick. Now, this is the strat that I thought I was going to have to do as a backup to still get the, like, just use the burst repair manually to get the materials down and then, uh, break with no, uh, that'll have to be later though because I want to guarantee that I get this back first. She tried to her dead. Huh, there, got it. See, now I don't have to break with no at all. Cool. We're gonna do wintry end first just to make sure we get the four our way chain attack for characters. So I think right now is actually when I want to use Noah. Yeah, I think we use Noah here. Use this just to help us get closer to 50%. Then use Tyon. So we'll set up our guaranteed 200% and we can move these characters over and over again. One. So ideally, from now, we get three amazings in a row from here, but we didn't get Neo, so we won't get an amazing this time. So I'll do the backup strat, which is probably what we need to be doing anyway. Start with you, I guess. Okay, I'm probably not going to get the uh, everyone's track, or I get everyone used in this last part. I'll just do that. Circle is reaching Neo, which is perfect. We'll use no one. Alright. Still respectable 1016 damage. Unfortunately, the last part of getting this is random, like, for you got a Neo Return, we can keep ripping the returning the three characters over and over again. Now, having Yoda would make the damage go much higher, because you would have, um, anyway, try and lower his defense, which we did. Now we're going to put down the fields for power characters. Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go.
Skill Wolf Spirit this time around. See, it even had a skill called Wolf Spirit. That double confirms it's basically a dark version of a wolf. Or I guess in this case, Mobius Vault. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if the buff of the food buff, the super buff I use, is going to last through the entire final boss battle, but we'll see. It probably doesn't actually um, nerf down in battle. Oh, they're not linked. That guy just got hit down to the side. We got the level 3 and finally ended. That was a lot of opponents to defeat there. <clears throat> Certainly a lot. Oh, I never went this way. <sighs> Oh, so that was the right side we went off. This is the left side now. Let's not pass those weird dark vault things. Oh. I'm guessing since we had one Mobius resisting us, we're probably gonna have another. Why? Why? Mobius, why is here? ようこそ、ロボロスの皆さん。お待ちしていましたよ。ミオちゃん。ここで終わらせる。でも、確かめさせていただきましょう。
Oh, we're getting around that entering level 2 mark. Can't do the trick anymore. That's the only risk with uh, doing that Horrible's trick setup. It does help out, but whenever you're Horrible's level 2, your character can just transform into it at any time. Though it is safe to do it at level 3 since, well, you want to transform at level 3 anyways. Because that's how you do most damage to these big bosses, speaking of which we just got level 3, so let's see how much we can do it. Probably not going to chain until, um, gets either very low health or those other stuff. Okay, I need to do the two looping times this time properly. Which is one mega spinning edge. Get the points for one mega spinning edge and then just cancel a trick of it while we wait for the thing to get warning. And then as soon as the warning appears, we kind of just wait. And then the moment the orange in blade clears, we'll use it. And this will weaken him down. And don't go less effective the guy we go for. Kind of flipped around all over the place, I have no idea. Having recharge here would actually be really nice for this particular class. Unfortunately, there's not really a good um, thing you can use with this, other than standing right in front of his face and using Taki on the Slash of World again. That's the fastest way to get your final Lucky 7 art. Thankfully, the art itself is rather quick to use. Letting this go for a while, I'm trying to see if, uh... Oh! That just counted as a full combo, so it broke... Oh, everything, and just automatically did a smash combo on the enemy, so it instantly smashed it. That was cool. Alright. Seems problematic right now. I think I have our characters are trying to break right now, but we haven't gotten a single break off yet. So, we're gonna do... Um, use your break first. Resist, of course. That's a phobias there. Resist, there you go. your break next. Through this again. I suddenly be very frustrating. By the way, for the NJ bosses, we probably can't draw this up. Although we probably could make it work, the problem is you'd have to set it up on a tank class instead. I don't know if I want to set that up yet or not. Because that's only two chances, whereas you have three chances in other cases. Obviously, we want to play these in our Oh, I hear that. To get Cena, we can always get our lightning. Now you're gonna use your brain. Resist again.
Alright, there we go. We have to do this one. Got me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess we get a couple more chances at a break. Try and do that. We should use each one. I can't set it up on Neo, by the way, because she's a soul hacker. That's the uh, reason why I couldn't do it on here. Otherwise, I would have maybe pulled for a few years to use that. Alright, let's see what Oh, we can't even be affected by that. You could probably make it so that he doesn't uh, get to come to that. Now the break something happens, of course, when we don't need it anymore. Hoping that would have happened way sooner. Honestly, we probably didn't need to go in and draw. Lucky seven in any of the battles. I just think it looks cool and will definitely come in handy for the final battle. So, ideally, we just combo a break into getting the other stuff and then hope that during the animation. <sighs> I count when they died. Alright. Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't go into their own cutscene. They just have their own. They just do the, oh, I'm dead, and. Ah, uh, that's terrible, and then all this stuff happens. Mm. All right. Just tell me this is finally the end. Yeah, it even looks like it. <sighs> oh, yeah, this definitely is it. <sighs> this is, I think, where I'm gonna end the video. After I make sure to actually save the game first. So, we need to check. Z is waiting for us to be on here. Finally, we can wallop some sense into him. There's no turning back once we proceed past this point. Are we all ready? Alright, just as I thought. Alright, so there's the... There's no turning back. I guess that... Uh, so that means that, yes, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, we're not going to take you out the file loss here, but in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, you enjoy, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we do our finale. Bye.